Okay, out here for some little drag racing, the Vicar racing against the HSP. Yeah, 3S, 3S. Some Vicar racing fresh out the box, 3S. Ready? Ready? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the launch was a little. Just gotta get that launch right there. I didn't go too hard into the launch. Ready guys? You ready? Get set. <laughs> I like it, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's go again. Let's go again. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Go a bit wider so you don't kick in. Not yet, not yet. All right, let's go again, let's go again. Go on, forward, 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 stop. Ready? Ah, <laughs> too much grip then. <laughs> too much grip then. <laughs> Ready. Ah, wiling out again, man. You know what? It's too um, it's too much gravel, man. I need the ah. Can't get gra traction, man. The surface is too rough, man. Yeah, it's hard getting traction, man. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I had that one there just about. Looked like he was coming back though. It looked like he was coming back though. Let me go pit stop, pit stop. <laughs> yeah, I seen it was coming back, man. But I just had to ease into it a little bit, man. To the V-car racing, bad boy thing. Go bad boy V-car racing thing. Yeah, yeah. Bad boy thing that. <laughs> yeah, I have to ease into it because I get too much grip, man. Yeah. And then because it's so loose gravel, it's hard to control, yeah, man, because yeah, it's digging yeah. in too much. <laughs> Let me um, check my these, these two bolts, make sure I don't lose them. Oh, uh, yeah. Doing some drag racing. 50 mile an hour, both cars are running. Free us. Yeah, man. Doing good, doing good. Peak speed set. Sorry about the sunshine. Full throttle. get any faster no still 50 yeah this short distance I can get 50 yeah yeah
Somebody's out here with his uh, helicopter. Let's see if we can get a zoom in on it. Okay. Are you going to say in the marks get set go? In the no, not yet. Wait for you, Dad. I'm going to shout you louder. Say it louder. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. That's it. <laughs> Go on then, you can do the shout. Three, two, one, go! Ah, no, 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 no. You've got to say in your marks, get set, go. Like, not three, two, one. <laughs> you in your marks, get set, go. Just letting the little ones have a blast as well, you know. A bit of fun out here, guys. So we do it. Nice, nice. Just check my wheels because I didn't lock tight these front little bolts under here, guys, man. So I have to keep checking them so I don't lose them, make sure they're not hanging out. Unfortunately. But so far, I haven't lost any, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. You ready? We just put some different wheels on the Vicar Racing to see what these road tyres are so they match up with the HSP, same diameter. So yeah, we're just having a look, see what they do. As you can see, it's still neck and neck, so not much difference in changing the wheels to one eighth wheel sizes. So they're both 100mm 3S motors. I'm running a higher discharge battery, but I'm carrying a lot more weight, so it's kind of balanced still, guys. So we're ready for another run. You ready? And there you go, guys, on the roof. <laughs> uh, and there's no doubt some damage done now. <laughs> so let's go and see what the damage is. Uh, let's chug. <laughs> I thought we were going to pass each other, you know. <laughs> Our action is like, oh, come on. Miss, 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 miss. I was like, miss, miss. <laughs> it didn't miss though. But yeah, let's have a look. looks all right. Let's have a look. Yes, it looks all right. Oh, no. no. Your back wheel. 
Look. Back hob with hob front bent. On spacer. Now the actual hob. The actual dry axle. Yeah, that axle's bent. Where should I mean? Where? Yeah. What? Yeah, look. Axle's bent there, uh, dry shaft. What, the dog bone? Yeah. Is it a dog bone? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Gah, I have to change it. Is it the dog, just the dog bone? Yeah, just the dog bone then. You sure? Ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> just had that crash. Look at my wheel, guys. <laughs> look at that. Bust the wheel and bent the dog bone. Oh, you reckon it's done that in the roll or the actual connection? Nah, when you hit it. Yeah, that'll be when you hit it. Bro. Suck your side, I'm hitting it. Could have been any dog, could have been the roll as well because it was doing about fucking 10 cartwheels. <laughs> <laughs> it did about 10 cartwheels. Yeah, I wish I was this side now and I could have seen it on the camera properly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll let me get it, it on the camera. The way my car, it was gaining, gaining. Mm -hmm. The top end must be a bit faster with the. Yeah. Well, put the once you put the GPS in that and just see where it does now. Yeah, top end's definitely faster, man. I was tapping out, I think, like before you was, man. Okay, so uh, from my roll yesterday, doing a bit of racing, having a bit of fun. As you saw, I rolled it quite hard, probably 10, 15 times, you know, double flipping in the air and carrying and rolling. And yeah, so I rolled it a good few times. And I had a bent shock tower. It was completely, you can probably see it's not exactly straight, but yeah, that was bent forward, maybe three or four mil, five mil forward to about here. You know, so it was just making the body. You could see it was squeezing the body. It moved forward, but it actually bent at the hinges here, where it bent, and just a slight on the edge where the shock towers are, actually just slightly bent. But yeah, just a little panel beating job. You know, towel up over it so you don't dent the metal work, and just lay it on a flat surface and just tapped away till it was straight, or well, more or less 90, 95 percent straight. And of course, as well, I um, I completely wrecked one of the dog bones. Well. Gave it a real big bend in it, so it was rubbing the uh, sway bar. This one's fine, and this front one's fine. And then the one on this side, it seems the two left sides was the sides taking all the pounding off the floor, doing its cartwheel. So that's slightly bent, or maybe under torques. Not really sure, but it's definitely bent. So I'm going to change these two, or straighten them out. And my one wheel that I completely cracked. I don't know if you guys can see that completely cracked it right through that was pushed right down i've just actually like forced it back up and there's a crack there too it's getting close so you've got that crack there and you've got this completely it's you know unseparated but the wheel itself because it feels so solid and firm the plastic's really strong feels firm i reckon if i put some strong glue in there which i'm going to do now and put some glue in here it's as good as new guys <laughs> you know for Something that costs you like, you know, 15 quid or less for a set of tyres. It's not nothing I'm going to get upset about or dog bones. It's just the dog bones annoy me more than anything. I don't mind straightening stuff, fixing stuff, but these dog bones, are, yeah, I'm not happy with the dog bones. You know, they're really brittle and fragile. Like, they just seem to want to bend, you know, anything. I know I've got a lot of weight in the car, but, you know, I want to have that weight in the car. I don't want it to look standard just so the dog, bone, dog bones don't bend. So, yeah, it is a bit annoying. I'm going to try and find a solution around this because these are no good. But um, yeah, apart from that, everything else is running fine. Seen the racing, it was great, guys. I was loving it. And yeah, so basically, I'm quick pit stop now today and then get my car ready for some more. We're going to do maybe more like a circuit run, like an oval or something like that. And I think we might have three cars today another HSP and a Vicar. So we're all going to run 3S and 2S and just do a little, you know, laps. Uh, so I'm just setting my car up as well now because I had it more set up for straight line speed and stuff. With this suspension, it's great. But as I say, setting it up for straight line speeds and stuff, it's not great at cornering. So uh, now I'm going to set it up and get my cambers all sorted. So, you know, when I throw it into a corner, it's just going to corner or, you know, it's not going to traction roll or anything like that. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Awesome.
<laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> See what's gripping. Ah! Wiling out again, man. To the V-car racing, bad boy thing. Go bad boy V-car racing thing. Yeah, yeah. Bad boy thing that. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. And there you go, guys, on the roof. Yeah, let's, have it looks all right. let's have a look. Yes, it looks alright. Oh, no, no you're back well. Oh, look! And there you go, guys, on the roof.